Over in the pages of Marvel Comics, the publisher has been advertising a brand new Ultimate Universe spearheaded over from celebrated creator Jonathan Hickman. The Ultimate Invasion series has been an absolute head-scratcher, showcasing the maker trying to recreate his version of the universe that he calls home. My name is Arako Braddock, and today, let's go ahead and see if Tony Stark's father, Howard, is able to fight back against the maker and some of his villainous schemes over in the final chapter of Ultimate Invasion Issue 4. Before we get deeper into the video, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button over on our video. The end or the beginning? War breaks out as timelines and universes collide. Iron Man must choose between the lesser of two evils, the Maker or Kang. But what secret does Iron Man know about the men behind the masks and... At the end of it all, the world outside your window will be forever changed. Don't miss this giant-sized, action-packed conclusion, or is it only the beginning? Ultimate Invasion Issue 4 is still written over from Jonathan Hickman, featuring artwork from Brian Hitch. We have inks from Andrew Curry, colors from Alex Sinclair, letters over from VC's Joe Caramagna, and we also have a cover coming in over from Brian Hitch. So first off, really appreciate this cover over for Ultimate Invasion, teasing some of Kang's presence over in the comic book series a little bit later on in the story here. But I want to start things off by talking a little bit about some of artist Brian Hitch's contributions on Ultimate Invasion in terms of the art here. So I really think that Hitch has done a wonderful job homaging some of his previous work over on the Ultimate Comics while sort of carving a new path in this new era of the Ultimate series over from Jonathan Hickman. I really like these opening pages in the issue as we sort of get the opportunity to catch back up with our protagonist over in this series who is now Howard Stark working alongside this new Ultimate Universe's sort of ominous version of Reed. Together, the two of them are really able to work together to throw a wrench over in the Maker's plans. I think this particular page that we have on the screen once again here is a really important moment as Howard directly goes up against the Maker. I absolutely love how Brian Hitch is able to capture this sequence over with a sort of canted angle, uh, showing the Maker standing in the center of the panel here. Once again, the reaction shot of the Maker uh, watching some of these characters lurking from behind his back also sets up the fact that this version of the Maker is really diligent. Now, I found this next sequence to be absolutely thrilling here as we finally make good on the cliffhanger and subtext in the last couple issues of Ultimate Invasion and we get our big showdown over between Kang and the Maker teased over in the solicit here. The splash pages over where Kang is introduced in this comic book series is absolutely amazing from Brian Hitch. The amount of details and characters lent over to the sequence is really, really beautiful. And the sort of opposite of Kang's forces are also the children of tomorrow, who are once again illustrated with an incredible level of precision over from Hitch's line. I also really liked how this issue followed up on some of the appearances from the world leaders that we got over in some of the previous issues. But once again here, the fact that these individuals are making decisions about the fate of their world, even if it is the ultimate universe, feels really important as well. Really like some of the conversations that the individuals have about electing a new world leader here. And I think there's going to be some really interesting political ramifications that are hopefully going to set up some plot threads for a future Ultimate Comics title. It was ultimately the last scene that had me really interested in checking out what is upcoming over for Jonathan Hickman's version of the Ultimate Universe as the character of Tony Stark ends up taking on a new identity that recalls a really fascinating Marvel comic and also relives a really important piece of Marvel continuity over for the new Ultimate Universe in a really, really beautiful way here. I really have to hand it to how Jonathan Hickman wrote this final sequence. 
I think Ultimate Invasion has had so many disparate tones throughout the runtime over in this series. So seeing this comic book really end on a note of hope inspired some really interesting emotion from me. I also found it really thrilling how this series really started over with the maker and ended with some of the good characters like Howard and Tony really take center stage here. I was really happy that over the course of Ultimate Invasion, I was not only able to get more immersed in what the maker as well as Kang had, but also grown a little bit more attached to this version of Howard. So at the end of the day, I am incredibly happy over with Ultimate Invasion. I think this series kept me guessing until the very final page. I love the fact that this series in particular has a bit of a different ending than some of the core Ultimate series over at Marvel Comics. I also like the fact that this series took the opportunity to switch protagonists from the maker over to Howard as well. Thank you so much for coming to check out our video and we'll be back to see where the Ultimate Universe is headed next. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.